Hi guys, welcome, welcome. I'm back to doing the little mini free um, videos. I stopped for a while, honestly, because I just feel that the YouTube channel is launching and doing so well that I figured you guys might as well just head over there for your weekly free um, videos. And they're broken down by zodiac signs. So yeah, so this is just very, very general readings. And I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to read a card for, for every Zodiac. I'm going to pick from the top of the deck after I do a general read right now. Then I'm going to pick from the Oracle deck just one card that these are all pre-shuffled. And yeah, let's begin. So the message of the day is judgment, the devil, and the queen of cups. Okay, the, and at the bottom of the deck, there's a king of wands. Interesting. So the Queen of Cups can also represent you're dealing with somebody that's nurturing and loving, but she has her emotions in check. She's emotionally balanced. She is, she's also represented by a Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. The Devil, also represented by Capricorn, and Judgment, I believe this is Sagittarius, not sure, but yeah. Uh, it doesn't matter. Don't remain fixed on the signs. But basically, this talks about obsessions, obsessions and having toxic relationships and just repeating something that just isn't overall healthy for you or that you're dealing with somebody that's toxic. You could also be obsessed with someone or something. And when I see these two cards together, either you are obsessed with someone or someone is obsessed with you. And this obsession requires of you to make a judgment call. A lot of you could be dealing with a fire sign person that is an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It does not have to be. And under that is the Hermit, the Virgo card, and the season we're currently in, the Virgo season. This just means you're dealing with somebody that is a business savvy, uh, an entrepreneur, um, intelligent, funny, witty, but also extremely passionate. So this can be in general for the whole entire collective. Now I'm just going to go ahead and pick one of these cards. Okay. Yes, you are. <laughs> just kidding. But we'll see how it, it reflects for all of you. Ah, finances and careers. I just got done saying business savvy. And let's see what your advice is here. And cancer. Okay, a personal issue reaches resolution. All right, so a personal issue reaches resolution, full moon in cancer. So if you're if you're like sitting on pins and needles waiting for this situation to come, you know, to fruition, it's coming very soon. And I feel like either you or this other person you're dealing with has to make a judgment call. Some of you have financial issues. This could be business related, work related, or somebody feels financially in a crunch or financially insecure to go towards somebody. And this could possibly be what you're obsessing over. Finances, money, blah, blah, blah. Whatever you're asking about, the answer is yes. So let's go ahead. I'm going to turn this over and we're going to go through every zodiac. If you're an Aries, Ten of Pentacles. This is talking about a family business, working within the family, uh, just your family overall and or your marriage. So there could be some kind of uh, toxic situation within the family circle. You just need to bring love into the situation. Whatever needs to go, goes. But normally it would be represented by a queen of swords so this is telling me just bring love into the situation address whatever's toxic i know you love these people whoever i'm talking about in your situation you love this person very much that's in your family dynamic it could be your husband could be your wife it could be your brother your sister your mother your father only you know of course you love them but a judgment call needs to be made regarding this toxic cycle you guys keep repeating within the family Yes, there is going to be a resolution very soon. Yes, resolution very soon. This is very much talking about money. There could be some kind of like financial issues within the family because you have finance and career and Ten of Pentacles represents money. Now, if you are a Taurus, Three of Pentacles, yes, you are trying to collaborate with somebody in regards to someone you care about very, very deeply. But there's something toxic within the situation and you are assessing what to do here. That's what's going on with Taurus. Uh, yes, finance and career. It, talk, it, it could be talking about you guys um, wanting to invest with somebody or something. Either way, it's going to come to a resolution very soon. I think that there is something very promising here. Yes. 
If you are a Gemini, Five of Wands, there are arguments, there are issues, there is fighting with somebody that you love regarding something that someone is doing that is toxic. Too much drinking, too much eating, too much drugs. I don't know, you know. Uh, and a judgment call needs to be made. This is going to resolve itself very soon. Yes, you can upraise above these challenges. Yes, you're going to have some sort of resolution regarding whatever this problem is. And yes, you're all dealing with some money and finance issues. You're probably fighting over this is what I'm feeling because this is the card of fighting and arguing. If you are a Cancer, Seven of Cups, you have options or this card can represent confusion. Cancer, this is also your card. You're confused as to what to do because there is someone that you love that you're dealing with that's very toxic and you know you need to make a judgment call. The person that you're dealing with in your world is spending too much money and you're financially savvy and the person is just somebody who just keeps spending and spending and spending and it's becoming an issue, a toxic issue within your family dynamic or the person that you love with. Yes, there's going to be a resolution very soon. Yes, you guys are going to work it out. If you are a Leo, four of swords, you're in the process of healing something that has been toxic in your circle. Some of you are dealing with a Capricorn Leo, but there is something that you're dealing with that is toxic within your dynamic between you and your person. It is definitely someone you care about, someone you love deeply. And yes, there is a judgment call, but there is something or some, you, Leo, are healing something from your past that is affecting your present. And it could very well be what you keep repeating that is toxic. So you will resolve this. Yes. This is telling me you might be a little self-conscious regarding money right now. Do not be. Okay. If you are a Libra. Libra Five of Cups, you're crying over spilt milk regarding something that was toxic in your life that really needed to fucking go. You love this person very much. They left you, but the universe did you a fucking favor, Libra. I promise you they did. They were broke ass anyway. Totally broke ass. Yes, they were broke ass. Yes, you will find somebody else, Libra. A personal issue reaches resolution. You will get past this. I promise, Libra. If you, um, did I skip Virgo? Yes, I did. Let's do Virgo. Maybe that happened for a reason. Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. Virgo, you're trying to balance something in your life. Some of you are dealing with a Capricorn. Um, others of you are dealing with a water sign. Virgo, you're trying to balance something that's toxic in your world out. You're trying to take it out. It's like you're trying to filter it out of your world. A lot of you are dealing with somebody that you care deeply about, but you know, you know you keep repeating poor cycles. You know that. You know you keep picking the wrong partners. Finance and career actually looks really good for you guys. Stay within this realm. Something's coming up in your career very, very soon. Yes, it is a promotion. Yes, it's something very promising. Okay, so let's go over to Scorpio. Scorpio, Jesus Christ, this is your card, the tower. And it came right out for you. I guess it was meant to be this way. Okay. So there was something that you needed to scrap from your world. Something very, very toxic. And you weren't doing it. Because not making a decision is a decision. So the universe took it away from you. And this is you. This is literally you. This is the Scorpio Cancer Pisces card. You knew that you had to make a judgment call. And you weren't making a judgment. So the universe took it away from you. This foundation, which is a job, a career, a relationship, a marriage... You know what it is. It is a heavy duty foundation and it was taken away from you. Even though this was taken away from you, the dust will settle. Finance and career might be affected regarding whatever this situation is, but you will rise to the occasion. All right, let's get to Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Oh, dang. Sagittarius. Go to my YouTube channel. Honestly, you guys out of the whole entire Zodiac have been getting some serious love vibes. A lot of love coming your way. So the universe has paired you up with somebody right now that you are not sure of. They are your mirror image. We don't know if they're here for a reason or a season. You don't know if they're here for um, a lesson or a blessing. That is up to you both to decide. There, there is a lot of love with this person. You could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Here is your card. This is very much you. Be careful not to repeat toxic things patterns from your past there could be somebody here that's obsessed with you there is something that you need to resolve from your recent past 
um, finance and career, this is coming to a culmination regarding some kind of deal you're trying to finalize with paperwork, something like that. And yes, everything is going to iron out for you. Capricorn. Capricorn, page of wands. You are embarking on an exciting new adventure, a new journey. You feel fresh. You feel like, young, like a young kid, like a teenager. You're excited about something or someone. You're, it could even be about life. You could be feeling like you're shedding your past and you're going on this exciting new adventure. Do you see this young person? He's like, I'm out. I'm happy. I'm excited. This is also your card, Capricorn. You could be saying to yourself, no more toxic past, no more toxic this, no more toxic that. You made a judgment call regarding somebody you love or you made a judgment call with this Scorpio Cancer Pisces person. And you are excited to move on or beyond or with. A uh, personal issue reaches resolution. This whole thing has culminated and has resolved itself in your eyes because you are excited to move on. You could also be dealing with an Aries because this is the card of Aries. Finance and career is the one thing that you have on your mind constantly and is a concern. But yes, everything will work out. All of it. Just like all of it is what I'm hearing. Uh, Aquarius. Aquarius. Dang. Aquarius. You have the death card. The death card represents transformation, transition, or ending a situation. What are you ending? You made a judgment call to end a toxic cycle or partner. And mostly it is because you just basically put your foot down. I think that you had feelings for something or someone else anyway. So when that, that reminder came towards you, you said, okay, this is over. This is done. I'm changing myself. I'm not dealing with toxic uh, patterns. I'm not dealing with toxic colleagues at work. I'm not dealing with toxic uh, co-workers or um, uh, people that I date, relationships, etc. This issue, it says it's coming to a resolution. I feel like you have resolved it, especially with the death card here. You are concentrating on your finances and your career. You're asking about something, if it's going to work out with this new person. I think that's a big fat yes in my eyes. And Pisces, last but not least, you could be dealing with the cancer. But this says that you are moving forward in life and you are remaining focused. Whatever comes your way, you're going to handle it, whether it's negative or positive. You just don't care. You're remaining focused. You know that you have some toxic patterns and cycles that you need to iron out. This is your card. You're ironing out kinks, Pisces. You have made a decision regarding a situation and you are definitely moving forward. You're telling yourself whatever comes hell or high water, you're going to handle all of it. And this could be a matter at work because this is finance and career. And this could be something with the family dealing with some kind of financial issue. Yes, this is all going to resolve itself. If you're asking about a job or relationship, it is very, very positive. This is what I have for you guys for this week. Please tune in to Elpis Enlightenment on my YouTube channel. I would love for you guys to be a subscriber. And this is just a tiny little taste. I'm going to at some point stop doing these little videos and I'm going to transfer it over to my YouTube channel uh, as a bonus reading. All right, guys, until then, I will see you. Bye now.